Hi there. Good morning. Kelsey Carlson here from Fox 9, and we are so excited to kick off the 27th annual American Heart Association Heart Walk. We are virtual again this year, but we are so thankful that we can bring this Heart Walk experience to you and kick off the morning. That's right. Hey, Kelsey. Uh, meteorologist Keith Marler here, everybody. Uh, I am also at Fox 9, and Kelsey and I have done this together for years and years or decades and decades or yeah. over the past year, it feels like centuries and centuries. And while we miss seeing you guys once again this year at Target Field, we know we're going to get a chance to do that again soon. It's exciting to be walking with people virtually across not only the city, but the state and the region, the country, even across the entire world are joining us virtually today. You know, even though we're apart, we can still make a difference. This Heart Walk aims to raise $1.6 million today. I know that we can do that, even with a virtual walk. Today, we are celebrating all of the research. We are honoring the survivors, and we are looking to tomorrow. We have come so far. Today, I'm walking for my dad and my grandmother, his mother. Uh, she had rheumatic fever as a child. She didn't have the opportunity to live a full life. Uh, she had one of the first open heart surgeries in Cleveland in the 60s. And today she would have lived a full life, but she didn't have the chance to see my dad get married or um, any of us. And my dad has had a series of heart attacks, but he has great medical care. He takes care of himself. And you would never know by looking at him that he has had the, the heart troubles that he's had because he's out there hiking every single day. So please visit TwinCitiesHeartWalk.org to contribute. Your donations do matter. Yes, they, they really do. And while you're out walking today, make sure you take plenty of pictures and post some videos if you want to. Put them all over social media and use the hashtag, hashtag TC Heartwalk. That is hashtag TC Heartwalk. And then they'll be pinging all over the place and we'll all see each other and we'll all pretend that we're all together again. Uh, I'll be walking uh, for my grandfathers. Both of my grandfathers had uh, heart disease and heart issues. One of them died very young. In fact, now that I think about it, he's younger than I am currently uh, when he passed away. My father's had some concerns, but Thanks to all the advancements that have happened over the years, my grand, uh, my dad is 80 years old and, well, maybe he'll retire this year from his <laughs> career. He still hasn't retired yet, so he's still going strong. I'll be working with my family here. We'll be walking around the neighborhood and the trails up here in the Northwest Metro, just like last year. I promise not to get lost this year. Last year, I may have wandered off somewhere, but it's good just walking with everybody. So post those pictures again, hashtag TC Heartwalk. And I'll be walking with my husband and my three kids around our neighborhood. We'll go knocking on doors. We'll grab some of the neighbors. We'll all get out and about. And, you know, when you are walking and you're taking these steps, you are walking with so many other people. Uh, it is so important for us to tackle and understand heart disease and stroke. And we are doing that with all of the money that we raise each and every year. And before we walk, we do want to turn it over to the 2021 Twin Cities Heart Walk Chair, Jeff Mervis with Boston Scientific. So thank you everybody for joining us this morning and have fun today. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Mervis. I'm the Executive Vice President of Boston Scientific and this year's American Heart Association Heart Walk Chair for Minnesota. I'm thrilled to be able to uh, be with you today as we all are about to embark upon our own walk. I'm here with my wife Jill and our kids Sydney and Zach and our dog Bella and we're gonna go uh, do our walk around the neighborhood to get some movement and some exercise. You know, the Heart Walk is all about raising funds for the American Heart Association, for the science and education, and to build awareness for heart, stroke, and vascular disease. Your contributions and your efforts help to further the mission to help patients all over the country and right here in Minnesota live longer and healthier lives. We have a really good turnout this year with over 5,000 walkers. We've already raised over $1.3 million. And I'm gonna predict that by the end of this weekend, we're gonna surpass our aggressive goal of $1.6 million. So thank you to everyone for all of your contributions in making this year's 2021 Heart Walk a huge success. Okay, so before you all hit the road and get your walks in, I do wanna make uh, a couple of special thank yous for people that work so hard on this year's uh, Heart Walk. Uh, the first group is the executive leadership team. Without their strong support and uh, contributions and leadership within their companies and in the community, we would be nowhere close to reaching our goals. So thank you 
to, uh, to all of the executive leadership team. Uh, I want to also thank the top 21 companies. Uh, these are the companies that really uh, led the charge. They did a great job this year. And so thank you to the top 21 in 2021. I also want to thank the executives with heart. These are executives in our community that step up, uh, recruit uh, team members, recruit other executives with heart, and they make a huge difference uh, to raising funds and building awareness for the Heart Walk. So thank you to all of our executives with Heart. And then of course our top walkers. We have a really big number of walkers this year that raised over $1,000 each. So great job by that group uh, of strong leaders. I want to congratulate a couple special individuals who were inducted this year to the Heart Walk Hall of Fame. So let me read their names. It's Katie Nelson with M Health Fairview. Uh, Tina Nichols, who's a community volunteer, and Larry Harsh with Medtronic. So thank you to all three of you and congratulations on this prestigious uh, award. And then last but not least, I'd like you to give a virtual round of applause to none other than Tim Herbert, who won the David A. Ness Impact Award this year. You may remember Tim, he was the uh, Heartwalk Chair last year, and he was the one that passed the baton to me this year. We had a little side wager, so I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to collect on that wager, Tim. But nonetheless, congratulations to you on this really awesome award. And that's it. Uh, most importantly, everybody, just go have fun, get some movement, spend time with your family and friends, spread the word on the great work of the AHA. Thank you for your participation, and I hope to see you all next year at Target Field when we get back together again for the Heart Walk in person. Thank you, be safe and be well. Heart Walk 2021, here we go.